So, so who was this man? So we've seen him in this, we've seen him in this video, and um, and I love this actor. I think he does an amazing, amazing job. I literally love that movie. Um, but let me let me tell you a little bit about this this man then. Um, yeah, let me see. Um, yeah, he was a fisherman. He was a Galilean. He was from a place called Bethsaida. Um, he was born around 1 AD and died around 60 AD. Um, research shows us around those times. He had a brother named Andrew. His father's name was John. Um, like, like he was saying, what's your name? Andrew was saying. So James and John and Peter, they were just like besties uh, with, with Jesus in, the, in this inner circle here. And so we see him as like a, just totally a, a real man with real emotions. And, and as I began to research Peter, I love him. I just like see his, so many parts of his um, personality. And um, I really relate to him in so many ways. And he was with him, like I said. But then there was opportunities for him to see where he wasn't. To see where his heart wasn't all in uh, with, with Jesus. Um, and so who's, who's ever heard of this, this time here with Peter denies Jesus. You raise your hand. You've heard of it? Yeah. And I think in the past, sometimes I've kind of condemned Peter, like, oh, come on, Peter. Like, this is the worst time for Jesus. And he's like, I don't know, man. I don't know him. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. But the more I look at it, I realize, wow, like, yeah, I can relate to him, you know? Like, he was embarrassed. He was ashamed. He was scared to declare who Jesus was. All of a sudden, one of his friends has, like, been arrested. And then this is the last um, scripture I'm going to share, and I love this is my Peter. This is what I'm like, Peter. When I meet you in heaven, I'm just going to be like, you're the bomb. Um, and this is after the after the resurrection, and Peter literally jumps in, literally jumps in. I tried to find a video of this, but he literally jumps in. Um, so can I get somebody to read for us? Can I ask you, man? Can I ask you to read for us? Loud with passion. Yeah. Don't just say yeah unless you know you can do it. Right. Can you do it? Yeah. Right. Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciples. So I believe I'm speaking to two different kind of groups of people today. And I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand, but I want you to kind of raise your hand in your heart right now before I even really get started. And think, okay, which group am I in? Do, do I need to really align a group that hasn't made a commitment to, to Christ for salvation? Or am, or am I in the group that has? Um, but I still need to really walk out what it means to have Jesus Lord of my life. But why should we be all in? Because he's the Messiah. He's the Son of God. And so I say to you guys today, he's worth it. He's totally worth being all in for. And so I just want to, uh, I want to say that I don't want to get it twisted. Um, I think so often today, and, and I'm a part of the church, so I'm not going to say that, you know, they do that. We sometimes in the church, we focus so much on what, what God does for us and um, how it benefits our life. That when you walk with Jesus, life will be better and you'll have freedom and you'll have identity. And that is so true. God, guys, that is so true. Um, that's such a bonus of walking with the Lord and being all in. Because of all those things, yeah, life is better. Not necessarily easier, um, but it, it's better. And you're walking with God and He's so good to us. But I tell you, firstly, He's worth it. He's worth it. The Bible tells us that right now in the heavens, angels are flying around him, saying, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And we, we, don't, we don't see that. So we're like, yeah, God, it's kind of cool. Maybe I should give my life to him, but I have to be sure. Man, he's worth it. How many of you guys have angels flying around you right now, singing, holy, holy? Do you have angels right now? No, no, you don't. <laughs> he's not great. Um, but he is totally worth it. He is the God of the whole universe. And I think that's our fault sometimes for just, for just talking about his benefits. And the Bible says forget not his benefits. That's great, he has benefits. But he's also worthy. He's worthy of our lives because he's the king of the entire universe who came down. And then as we saw in the video, he gets beaten up and, and dies for us. It's so crazy. So I want you to hear that with fresh ears. Because we, we kind of hear that a lot, especially if you grew up in church. Yeah, God is so good and he died for us.